Hey guys. Hey guys. We've mostly moved on to the interior design phase of our house, as in like selecting kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff, flooring, doors, etc. Yep. So I thought we could talk about that sort of thing today a little bit. For most of the companies here that manufacture the interior parts of the house, they have showrooms that you can go visit in person and like get a look at all of their different options that they offer. And then if you see anything you like, then on your way out, they give you a catalog for you to take home. See everything in more detail, prices. Yep. Oh my gosh, all the options. This isn't all of our catalogs that we've been giving. This One third? This is just a part. It is insane. <laughs> Some of them also have virtual showrooms online where you can do like a, an online tour. We can look through one of the virtual showrooms together in a little bit, but I wanted to show you some of our catalogs first off. What we've been trying to do with designing the interior of our house, of course, it, we wanna pick out stuff that we like and then also whatever fits into our budget. But one of the biggest issues that I've found with a lot of Japanese designs is the way that things are done is there are a lot of unit options. So like the entire um, bathroom sink will be sold as a unit uh, where it's got the mirrors are attached, the sink is attached, the drawers are attached, and maybe they have a couple different options. So maybe you can like switch out the sink for this one option, or maybe they'll have like a secondary set of shelves you can put next to it. But for the most part, there's not too much you can choose from. And a majority of these all look very similar. And my issue is that the way they look to me already looks dated. And I've only been here for, I, I moved here what, like five years ago permanently? Yep. And a lot of these already look dated to me. And so if we're buying this for our house, what are we gonna, like, we're just, our bathroom, our kitchen, everything's just gonna look old right away. Not just you. A lot of them look a little old to me too. So um, this sort of pull-out um, for drawers where it's just the entire thing has, is kind of industrial a little bit. This is really common in bathrooms, kitchens. And then the shiny surface, very, very shiny. It's just like a, a cheap coated I mean, sort of... I didn't spend a lot of money on this one. I just wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. to get <laughs> something that fits with the priced with the lower budget. So a lot of these, for example, many of them have the split mirrors. One piece of the mirror is only like this wide and then a lot of them are split down the center. Some have lights in between so you can get like even lighting if you're trying to do your makeup, but we're not really a fan of having the mirror split into so many pieces. Look, it's using our present. Mm. Scratchy. <laughs> Fortunately for us, when we went to one of the showrooms, they had a brand new <laughs> um, like bathroom sink set. It's much more natural. The whole thing is wood. I have been thinking so much about how we can try to maximize the longevity of the things that we put into our house, like both with the quality of products so they don't break down really quickly, but then also visually so that we don't get tired of them over time. And where I've sort of settled on that is I think we should try to get things that look as natural as possible. You know, if we've got like stone paneling on the wall or something behind the TV, that's never ever gonna go out of style. You've got castles built with stones from hundreds and hundreds of years ago and they still look amazing. So I think we want a, a lot of really like natural wood products. Something else to note about these uh, like unit brands like Toto, Lixel, Panasonic. If you go to the showroom or look in their catalogs, the prices are still quite high but a lot of the options that are offered through your builder will be much, much cheaper than just going to the showroom yourself and like picking out something that you like. Our builder will still be able to get um, some of a discount on this just because we're going through them and they all have deals with like the yeah. big companies, you know? Yep. He's loving our present. I'm so happy. Look at his face. Everyone except Nagi likes this. Yeah. We've had a whole bunch of cats sleep double ooh, in here. Ooh. Ooh. PG has slept in here with several of our cats. <laughs> mm. Anyway, as you can see, there are a billion options for everything. 
And if you want something that is gonna like last longer, it starts to get more and more expensive. So slightly off topic, thank you guys so much for being so supportive this month with all of the sponsorship that, sponsorships that we've been accepting. Um, this is, it's not gonna be like this next month. We don't have, we just for some reason got a million offers for- At the same time. For January. <laughs> and, and we were like, oh, maybe we can fit it into our schedule. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> we've, been, we've been working so hard this month. Um, but thank you guys for being like so supportive. Like we, it used to be on YouTube. We've been on YouTube for almost 10 years now. I think it's insane. Yep. And in the beginning, people would get really angry when you did sponsorships. Like, but nowadays everyone is really, really supportive. And we're gonna go ahead and transition to today's sponsor. Thank you Soundcore, the Liberty Air 2 Pro headphones. Uh, we've been using these now for a few weeks. Yep. And it was actually legit. It's really good. June has a lot to say about these. June has been using like Bluetooth headphones for years now. Whereas yep. This is the first time I've used it. So I'm going to let June talk about it more. So I actually use headphones every day when I cook, when I clean, when I do any, basically anything here. And I've been using like big headphones and like wired headphones. But these days I'm not using this anymore actually because this is so much more comfortable and easy to use. I'm honestly happy that Sandcore sent us these. First off, it's so easy to use. I basically open it like that and take these apples out and it automatically connects it to my phone. Everything is like magnetic, like these just kind of like... Yeah, I love that design. Stick in Yep. and this is magnetic. And this is also a charger I believe, right? Yes, yeah. the case is a charger. You charge the case. Yeah, and I like the matte feeling too. It's very comfortable to hold. And the sound quality is also, actually I was pretty shocked. I have used Bluetooth headphone like these a little while ago, but the sound quality was really bad that I couldn't stand anymore. But this wasn't that much different compared to the my wired high resolution headphone. I also really like the noise canceling function. It was actually my first time trying this noise cancelling thing. I know it's been around, but it was my first experience and it was really clear that I could tell the difference super easily. It has an app where you can fine tune the noise cancellation. We used it on a plane and it cancelled most of the engine noise. It actually did really well. It also has this function where you can personalize the equalization. So it will play sounds for you and test specifically which frequencies you can hear in each ear so that it can like customize the equalization for you, which I was pretty impressed by. There are four color options, blue, pink, white, black. And I really like how they have size options for earbuds. Soundcore has also partnered with Musicares, which is a charity that provides financial, mental health, and even substance abuse services to struggling musicians, which I think is really great of them. If you're interested in the Liberty Air 2 Pro headphones, then we have a link in our description. <laughs> we have a link in our description box that you could check out. Uh, I think next we're gonna do one of the online virtual tours. Yep. Okay, so this is one of the online showrooms that we can look at. Panasonic is one of the showrooms that we haven't been to in person yet. Right. Uh, so we do still need to go to this one. But right now because of like everything's under a state of emergency here again because of the virus. So trying to do as much stuff from home as possible. I really want to go see this um, bathroom mm -hmm. sink slash makeup station sort of thing. This one looks honestly quite Western, the style. Yeah, it does. This is considered a walk-in closet here. And it's pretty cute style too. And mm -hmm. I like the wallpaper in the background, like the vertical blue stripe. This is an example of like a very feminine style in Japan. But I mean, it I, looks pretty quite, functional. I like it. Kitchen? This is, again, it's a quite Western kitchen because it's got these details on the drawers. I don't know what those are called. Mm, office nook? This size room is not uncommon in Japan. Of course, space is very limited here. You have to be very considerate with your spacing. It's cute. Another kitchen. This one has the wall that goes up over the counter. Going mm -hmm. to serve? Like, uh -huh. oh, wow, that surprise. Sometimes you don't want like your guests to, like see exactly what you're doing in the process. Well, I live with you while you're cooking. Every single time I'm still impressed when you hand me the final plate. 
It is always beautifully plated and it looks completely different even when you have everything prepared on your various dishes. I mean, that's just one thing sometimes people care about, but I think mm -hmm. this one also um, uses as a storage, I guess. Yeah, the storage is not bad. Mm. It's nice. That makes sense. Like, it's very easy to access to a lot of stuff and you can, I guess, shut. Yeah. Here's some, uh, I guess, cabinetry on a wall in the dining room, which we won't have. We have very limited wall space in our house because we have we have so many windows and doors. So we're going to have to be very, very thoughtful with the way we store things. And of course here, there's another one where it's like blocking the view. Maybe it makes the room feel cleaner. Like from this side, it looks you can't see anything on the counter, so of course this feels very neat and clean and well prepared and you can keep the mess over here, I mm, guess. Yeah. Maybe that's something else. There's a reason, yeah. Mm. We both prefer to have like an open island sort of dealio, but if this is your thing, then that's totally cool. Mm. No judgment. Um, lots and lots of doors. Japan. <laughs> That's not even, it's so weird. Like, I don't know. That's not something I ever thought about when I was trying to imagine like my perfect home. Mm -hmm. Japan has a billion different interior door designs. There are so many, um, hundreds, actual hundreds when you look between all of the different companies. There are a lot of doors here with cutouts. Uh, there's a company called Daiken here that has a very large number of interior doors. Yes. And we like a lot of the die can. Lots this, of samples. Eh, this is a the die can catalog of all of their interior doors. We actually have, oh, here we go. We actually have one picked out that we really, really like, but of course, if you want any of these doors, they're much more expensive than a normal door. So that's why we're doing so many sponsorships. Just so that you can we get have... our doors and the best cat house so they can walk around the catwalk, I guess. The most unnecessary expense we're spending in our house is definitely for an interior door that we both found that we absolutely love. You can get them online as well, and I, I want to try to get it a little bit we'll cheaper. We'll see. We'll see when we finish building the house. So many options. <laughs> yes. For but doors. They also gave us samples of the different wood colors you can select for their doors. <laughs> yeah, I like this and this and this. I like these. The, I like a little of these. This Color is, samples. Yeah. I don't want like a super dark door, but I like this one. I think it's a good compromise and it's a beautiful desaturated wood. Oh, here we go. Here's one of their Senmen dies. There's um, nothing underneath it. Yeah, we definitely need more storage than that. Here's one of their unit baths. I don't know what's going on with the floor. Oh, maybe it's covered to protect it from guests. Maybe, yeah. Walking on it, perhaps. Mm. This is a very large window for a unit bath. I actually, I wonder how much this one is. Oh, that's a $30,000 bath. <laughs> wow. I was gonna say, this one Wait, looks quite sure? nice. Oh. Look at the ceiling and with the size of the window. How could you tell the price so quickly? Right here, it's right there. So difficult to read. Okay. We are definitely not spending $30,000 on a bath. Well, you don't even, yeah, I don't even need often. a bath. I just yeah. want a shower. This is a like a coating on higher end kitchens now. This this design is kind of everywhere. Actually, they even have this sort of design at IKEA now. I think it's supposed to replicate like a stone panel, but it's you know it's just a veneer. I don't mind the concept. I mean, sometimes I like fake green, but just for this pattern, I'm not so sure. This looks nice, like the inside. Yeah, it does. The way a, a lot of these, or not a lot, but there are definitely like kitchens we've looked at where when you open up the doors, a lot of the inside shelving and drawers that you pull out are kind of just plastic and I don't, I don't like those. Mm. But this looks nice. Yeah. The way that that's done. Looks even, easy to access. Yeah, even the part you pull out the rice cooker, it has the same finishing as everything else. Mm, which it is does. nice. I think this is too white okay. now. Looks like this. Yeah, I think maybe we want a little bit of color yeah. in our actual house. Uh, here we go. There's an example of the door that goes all the way to the ceiling. Hmm. Um, this the standard ceiling is 2.5 meters here. I I don't need that tall door actually. So the Daiken doors, 
they have very special order 2.5 meter doors. Otherwise, it's two meter or 192. And both of those are shorter than the doors we have. Two meter is definitely high enough for me. Here's a very kind of standard Japanese kitchen. You can see everything I was talking about before. It's very shiny. Um, I mean, it's easy to clean. Yeah, it's very easy to clean. We're just not a fan of shiny reflection. It's easy to clean and you can get a billion different colors. I like the color of this floor. Here. Yeah, desaturated. Jun and I are thinking about doing real wood floors instead of like the fake wood. Like whatever we have right now. What is this? Material? The name? Yeah. I'm not quite sure. We've only lived in this apartment for two years, but there are so many dents in the floor everywhere. I don't know how most of them even got there. I'll just be walking through our house and I'll see a new one that I've never seen before and I genuinely have no idea. And I really want a sturdier floor, something that's not just gonna like fall apart within a few years. At least with real wood floors, there are things you can do when you damage them to kind of like... I think we can go with a thin real wood. Help fix them a little bit. Here again is the design where with the long bar for the drawers. These are convenient to open because you can pull anywhere on the drawer and they are very easy to open and close. So mm. it has that like benefit to them. Full length sliding doors for kitchens are very popular right now. I don't know if I really like the idea of a sliding door in a kitchen mm. because I think it takes longer. Even if it's just a minuscule amount of time, I feel like it takes longer to slide open the whole door instead of just having different cabinets that you can pull open and shut very quickly. What do you think about the sliding doors in the kitchen? I don't know. I have to think. But the fact that I have to think means I guess I'm not in love with it mm. at, at first sight. Uh -huh. But it might be convenient to have. Mm. Here's a very standard unit kitchen um, right now. Like this is the sort of thing that you could see in absolutely any house. <sighs> I just can't wait to get my height yeah. counter. This looks like way too low. This is a dishwasher. It's a little baby dishwasher. We have either 45 centimeter width or 60 centimeter width. And 60 is very not like common yet. But at least these small dishwashers are now almost standard. Uh, at least in a big city, if you move somewhere new, most places have these little baby dishwashers. And it is so much better than washing everything by hand. It's like, so much better. I like how you call it a little baby dishwasher. It is a little baby dishwasher. <laughs> you think it's a little baby dishwasher too. You you definitely think it's not big enough. Yeah, it's, I definitely want a bigger one. This is an example of what I was talking about before, where they have the LED lights in between the different glass panels. Of course, each of these should probably open independently so you can have, you know, your whole medicine cabinet or whatever you want to put back there. To me, it feels like too many lines. Yeah. I think I would like something that looks sleeker and probably just one mirror, even if it's a smaller mirror, just mm. because... I don't, I don't need a huge mirror either. Yeah. I like the this design on the catalog, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. when I look at them in person, I guess I prefer a normal like cabinet instead of floating, like that type of... Ah, uh, yeah. It has more storage that right. way too. I do like this floor a lot. This looks very, very natural. It's even got different colors on the different planks. The pattern or the color? Both. I think mm. it's very pretty, very natural. Reminds me of a um, classroom to me. This floor? Yeah. That's what your classrooms look like? Kinda. Really? Reminded me, yeah. You had like hardwood classroom floors? Yeah. Like super high-end, nice hardwood classroom. This looks like... They have to oil it too. This wax. looks... This looks like a, a expensive hardwood floors in America. We had tiles in school. Tiles for school? Not classroom? Not nice tiles. Oh, like really? cheap cheap tiles. Like the when you go to the mall, the um okay. the floor of the supermarket, like that kind of tile. They obviously don't have the walls going up to the ceiling, but this is a typical bathroom here. The size and then the side it's got the little shelf that goes all the way along and at the end there's a little spot for washing your hands. This is very standard. This looks like maybe 80 centimeters. Mm -hmm. But I think we do need 85 centimeters at, at, at least, right? Yeah, we, we don't want to feel claustrophobic oh. when we sit on our toilet. What's our current bathroom? Like 90-ish? 90. I like this style a lot. 
It's cute. For the mm-hmm. side. It's yeah. quite thick though. You would need a larger bathroom. Yeah. For that. that means sacrifice the other room spaces. <laughs> the newest toilets in Japan are kind of cool. Like they have toilets with tanks on them that don't look like they have tanks. Is this one of the tankless ones or is this one? These where... look tankless to me. Some of these, the tank is the same height as the toilet seat. Slightly higher. Slightly higher, but it's not like your super old traditional type of toilet with the full back um, tank back. But any like tankless toilets here are considered like the high end toilets because they look fancy. But now they have some that almost look like they're tankless, but they're not. Slightly more expensive than the like really cheap toilets, but uh, not as expensive as tankless toilets. <laughs> well, I think that's what we'll go with. Toilets, I have to go with Toto. Oh, they ha- they have a, like a special type of material that the whole toilet is made out of, so like it. Super easy to clean. This looks very easy to clean. Yeah, it does. It's very open. It's all just one piece. It has a TV with it. Some of these have stuff like that now. Dual sink. Mm. <gasps> Look at that window. I lost the first place that we looked at. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ha. Yeah, ha, ha. This, I want to go see this in person. It looks really Western and like reminds me of the one at uh, Ikea. Uh, this does not look like Ikea to me, but it is fi- it is $15,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you still want to see it though? <laughs> Obviously, I only have room for a little bit. I, I would not have an L shape. I don't know if that includes this uh, closet. Ah, you mean the whole thing. Which I don't mean. Okay. Could like, be. I would just have this one part here the mirror so i don't know how much this would be by itself right, by itself should not be that much expensive. it should not <laughs> no. this is not it better $15, not be that much <laughs> anyway there are some examples of like the catalogs in the showrooms that we've been looking at for months now we have to make all of these decisions by the end of next month so next month we're probably going to be spending um all of our free time on this because we won't be able to put it off and think about it any longer If there's anything else you guys are interested in seeing as far as like the interior design options for houses go, let us know. Like, I think it's all really interesting, but like, I don't want to make 500 videos. Like, here's an entire video on the 200 door options Japan has for interior doors and house. I mean, I would watch that video. I probably will make a video about it anyway. It's something I would enjoy. Okay. I would totally watch it. I would totally watch it. They're really cool. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit harder because I really want to film a lot of this stuff in person, but obviously we need to be responsible right now and not go out as much as possible. I want to know what you guys think would be good options as well. Like the darker, brighter, natural type of thing, you mean? Style? Like style as a whole or like custom building things Mm -hmm. versus buying as a unit or whatever. I don't know. I'm just curious. Other people's thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.